A Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that completely encompasses a star and captures a large percentage of its solar power output. The concept is a thought experiment that attempts to explain how a spacefaring civilization would meet its energy requirements once those requirements exceed what can be generated from the home planet's resources alone. Because only a tiny fraction of a star's energy emissions reaches the surface of any orbiting planet, building structures encircling a star would enable a civilization to harvest far more energy. But why are we talking about a hypothetical megastructure? Did we finally catch a glimpse of an actual Dyson sphere around a star? Get ready to have your mind blown, because the James Webb Space Telescope captured something that is baffling scientists. Not only has it surprised astronomers, it has in fact left them scratching their heads. This has happened because of a new photograph captured by the world's most powerful observatory of a distant star named WR140. The picture was taken using Webb's mid-infrared instrument in July and shows mysterious ripples tainted in slight red color around the star. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. What we know about WR140 is that it lies 5,600 light years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus and is called a Wolf Rayet star by astronomers. Moreover, a Wolf Rayet star is one that has pushed an enormous amount of hydrogen into outer space and remains shrouded by a thick amount of dust. The star is also seen with six major spikes around it, which are called diffraction spikes created by the telescope itself. This image has NASA so curious that astronomers will carry out follow-up studies to gather more details about the contents around the star in the picture. The picture was shared by citizen scientist Judy Schmidt, who works on the processing of images clicked by observatories and has contributed to the development of several web images. Nope, I don't know what this is. Some kind of spiral nebula around WR140. I'm sure we'll find out more later, she tweeted. We will wait for scientists to find out what these mysterious rings around the star are. A spiral nebula or a Dyson sphere? Tell us what you think in the comments. Moving on from WR140, let us show you what else has Webb captured recently. Welcome to you, curious. Discover more, no more. Did you ever wonder what an alien world would look like? A star system, planets like Earth and Mars orbiting its star, or a gas giant, the size of Jupiter, or wait, how about a planet that is seven times bigger than Jupiter? Well, the James Webb Space Telescope has just returned its first ever picture of just that. The new images reveal that Webb will be a fantastic tool for astronomers aiming to improve their knowledge of exoplanets even better than we had hoped it would be. But for those who've grown up on a diet of Avatar, Star Trek, Star Wars, and myriad other works of science fiction, the images may be underwhelming. No wonderful swirling clouds, inglorious or muted colors. Instead, we just see a blob, a single point of light. So why do these observations have astronomers buzzing with excitement? And what might we learn in the months and years to come? Over the past three decades, we have lived through a great revolution, the dawn of the exoplanet era, where we once knew of no planets orbiting distant stars and wondered whether the solar system was unique we now know that planets are everywhere. Some planets even wander aimlessly in the cosmos without orbiting a star. Those planets are called rogue planets, but we will talk about them some other time. Currently, the number of known exoplanets is 5,084, and the number has been growing steadily. Of all those alien worlds, only a handful have been seen directly. The poster child for such systems is HR 8799, whose four giant planets have been imaged so frequently that astronomers have produced a movie showing them moving in their orbits around their host star. To gather JWST's first direct images of an exoplanet, astronomers turned the telescope towards the star HIP 65426, whose massive planetary companion HIP 65426b was discovered using direct imaging back in 2017. The planet is unusual in several ways, all of which act to make it a particularly easy target for direct imaging. First, it is a long way from its host star, orbiting roughly 92 times farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. That puts it around 14 billion kilometers from its star. From our point of view, this makes for a reasonable distance from the star in the sky, making it easier to observe. 
Next, the exoplanet is a behemoth of a world, thought to be several times the mass of the solar system's biggest planet, Jupiter. On top of that, it was also previously found to be remarkably hot, with temperature at its cloud tops measuring at least 1200 degrees Celsius. This combination of the planet's size and temperature means it is intrinsically bright for a planet. The images are far from your standard science fiction fare, but they show that the planet was easily detected, standing out like a sore thumb against the dark background of space. The observations of this planet is just the first sign of what JWST can do in imagining planets around other stars. The incredible precision of the imaging data suggests that Webb will be able to obtain direct observations of planets, smaller than previously expected. Rather than being limited to planets more massive than Jupiter, it should be able to see planets comparable to, or even smaller than Saturn. This is a really exciting time. You see, a basic rule of astronomy is that there are lots more small things than big things. The fact that Webb should be able to see smaller and fainter planets than expected will greatly increase the number of possible targets available for astronomers to study. In the coming years then, expect to see many more images of alien worlds taken by Webb. While those pictures might not look like those in science fiction, they will still revolutionize our understanding of planets around other stars. But hold on to your horses, because we aren't done yet, that's right. Webb has also snapped something beautiful. It has captured an almost perfect Einstein ring, whose light has traveled roughly 12 billion light years to reach us, and we can't stop staring. An Einstein ring occurs when a distant galaxy has been magnified and wrapped into an almost perfect ring by a massive galaxy in front of it. Scientists tell us that we wouldn't be able to see this galaxy at all if it wasn't for the Einstein ring. Yes, the presence of Einstein rings, in addition to looking beautiful, allows us to study these otherwise almost impossible to see galaxies. Thank you, Webb. We cannot wait for more stunning images of the universe. Thank you for unfolding the cosmos like never before. Here's to many more amazing discoveries. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to you curious. Discover more, no more. Thank you.